Okay, so we're gonna jump over to the mole trace. Here's what's gonna happen. I have this scene here, okay? It's Pokemon Spotlight. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna be here talking about it. I don't have a face cam on. I'm gonna do my little thing. This is obviously for YouTube, okay? So I'm gonna do my little spiel. Basically what's gonna happen is for about 10 to 15 minutes, I will not be interacting with chat. Feel free to ask questions, okay? If I see them, I might read them and address them, but I won't address you personally. So hopefully you understand, this is meant to be more of an informative kind of speech. Think of this as class and I'm the presenter, okay? This is a little lecture. So I think this is uh, very, very helpful. Cameron, I'm gonna show you how Raichu is a common partner. And there's no common partners yet because th this is not a meta, nothing's developed yet. So this is just gonna be a little presentation essentially. So if you miss any of it, we are going to be, the speed is wrong. I literally copied this from show. It's not, oh, it's 90. Oh, it's 90. Hold on, let me edit this. Bruh. I copied it off Showdown while I was eating. Nobody judge me. Duh, 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 uh, uh, hey. Hold on, I'm fixing that. I literally, I literally copied this off Showdown. I, I don't know how I got that wrong. Righteous garbage. Listen, I'm the teacher here. Uh, let's see. I had an illustrator. Remove Raichu? No, I'll show you. Literally, you guys have no idea. You're gonna understand. No, Nick, Nick, I get it. I get it. You like Regilecki, and you don't like people running Lightning Rod users. That's that's cool. I get it. I get it. We can all we can all complain when people counter our strategies. That's fine. Let me save this real quick. Say or export. Okay, okay. Take this. Wait, did it auto update? No, it didn't. Browse. Moltres spotlight? Nope, didn't update. Hold on, I'm getting this fixed. Oh, that's why. Replace. Now does that update? Oh, it did. Why are they, why is there text there? What? Oh, there's text there. <laughs> what? I love I love Illustrator. Export replace. Okay, live fixes. There we go. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, okay. So here here we're gonna start. Okay, so if you guys want to talk amongst yourselves, like I said, this is more of a presentation. If I see something that should be addressed, I will take a step and address it. But for the most part, I'm gonna be kind of presenting here. All right, Minecraft Steve music. Okay. So today we have a new Pokemon that I really want to address because I feel like we've had some misconceptions about what it actually has as a potential across the whole metagame. I know at least myself and a lot of other people that I, d I talked with thought Moltres is going to be the worst of the bird trio. It literally has the least amount of potential and it has pretty bad typing, honestly. I think that the fighting and flying and the psychic flying is pretty bad as well. But dark flying didn't seem too appealing when I was looking into this at the beginning. But now, as I've been exploring this, I'm in a I'm in a team building chat, and the way that the way that they were kind of explaining it was as Metagross is becoming one of the most more popular Pokemon in the metagame, Dark is really, 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 really good. And I don't know how much you guys have looked into the meta, but personally, I've, I've been noticing that there were, like, not many good fire types besides Heatran, not many good ghost types besides Dragapult, and there were, like, no good dark types. So I always really struggled to find a really good dark type in the meta. And I've been really happy with the way that Moltres has been turning out. So just a quick overview of Moltres. The reason people thought it was so bad is its ability is Berserk. For those who don't know, Berserk is an ability that gives you a plus one special attack when you go below half HP. And now, that's not too bad, but when you factor in that the other birds were gifted with abilities such as Defiant and Competitive, which we all know to be really good, Moltres kind of looked like it would just be on the back burner for the majority of the format. So, thinking about that though, that's why the initial uh, reaction was that it'd be pretty bad. Looking at its stats as well, there's nothing crazy good there. It has pretty good special defense, but as you know, or you, you'll find out right now, it does not get recovery. Lots of flying types usually get roost, and a lot also get recover. But this Pokemon does not learn any 
form of recovery, which is really unfortunate. So initially, it just doesn't... Berserk doesn't make too much sense. You can run Citrus Berry or something, but it looked pretty bad. Anyways, I've been saying why we thought it was bad. Now time to get into why it's actually a really good Pokemon. So, let's cover the meta real quick. Like I said, there is... The biggest threat of Metagross, which it has a really good way to beat. As I'll show in a minute here, we have a set that runs Nasty Plot, allows you to set up and start going to town. You have Max Airstream, which Max Airstream is the best move in the game. Boosting your speed is not only powerful for yourself, but also powerful for your partner Pokemon. Allowing you to not only do damage, boost your own speed, but support a Pokemon next to it as well. So Max Airstream is really, really, really busted here. On top of that, Max Darkness, not only getting the stab boost and doing a ton of damage, lowers your opponent's special defense, which allows you to do more damage every single turn that you use it, which in my opinion is really, really crazy, especially for a special attacker. Now, going over the common partners, this is just a lot of the Pokemon on the team that I have used, I've chosen to use for today, but that's because no one's really developed the meta yet. So this is kind of my personal little outlook on why each of these four Pokemon belongs on a Moltres team. So, for the first one, we got Landorus. Landorus being a Intimidate Pokemon and a Ground type, Moltres likes, as a Flying type, to have someone that Earthquakes next to it. So, Landorus being able to Earthquake next to it is very, very cool, allowing you to get rid of some of the Steel types that you may not have an answer to because of your main stab being Flying, as, long, as well as an Intimidate that really helps out to allow Moltres to just live longer. Generally, it's just a really, really good Pokemon to pair with Moltres. I'd say it almost needs to be on every team, unless you got a good reason for it not to be. Next up, we got Raichu. So Raichu is kind of my little hot take, right? I can't say that Raichu is the best partner for Moltres, but as I was saying earlier in the stream, I think anyone who says that Raichu is not a good Pokemon is on the Regilecki hype train. If those don't know, that's the strong electric Reggie that just came out. Now, I get it, Raichu's not that great offensively, but Lightning Rod bringing that to the table is literally just to shut down the other strong electrics in the format. There were things such as Zapdos, Galarian, or no, not Galarian, Cantonian Zapdos, right? Cantonian Zapdos is a big threat to Galarian Moltres. It allows, it allows for it to just hit it super effectively with an electric attack and do a lot of damage, which you don't want. So having Raichu with Lightning Rod not only shuts down Cantonian Zapdos, but it also shuts down Regilecki, because Regilecki's only way to get around it is going for an Electroweb. And if you Electroweb my Moltres, well, you'll see in a minute here, but on one of my teams, I have a Weakness Policy. So if you really want to do 20%, which is all it does, to my Moltres around my Raichu, feel free to give my Raichu a special attack boost, boost my Weakness Policy, and allow me to max Airstream. I see this as such an essential piece of the puzzle for solving Galarian Moltres, it also makes a lot of sense for the other Pokemon that we're going to be bringing in in a minute here. But Raichu to me, at least on this team that I'm running, is a very, very key piece to the puzzle. Also, I see a question in chat right now. I am doing this live, by the way. Isn't Thunder Cage spread? It is not. Thunder Cage is a single target move, and most people also don't run it. They usually run around Electro Ball, Electro Web, Volt Switch, something along those lines. So Raichu, being able to absorb those single target attacks is very, very good. Moving on. Uh, onto Feeny. Feeny is kind of just my personal pick. I do really feel like you want a Tapu. And going along the list of Tapus, we have Feeny, Lele, Coco, and Rillaboom. I don't really feel like you want double electric, so I'm not going to run Coco. I don't want Lele because I feel like that drives the team in a very offensive direction. Um, Rillaboom is a consideration, but I did want Kartana, as I'll get into in a minute here. So I just ended up putting a Feeny on. I feel like Feeny. It supports the team in an interesting way. I wanted a water type, and you'll see the Feeny set that I'm running here in a minute, uh, but I opted to have a Feeny that has Taunt, which is very nice as a water type, and also allows for Fairy and Water coverage, which is very cool. So Feeny, not a great one. Like, not a not a perfect partner for the Moltres, but I think it has, still has a place on this team. And along with that, the last one I have here that I think is pretty cool with Moltres is Kartana. Kartana, you gotta think, what does Moltres hate the most? Well, personally in testing, I found out that one of the things that Moltres hates the most is Feeny. So how, what do you beat Feeny with? Well, personally, I've liked Kartana. I think Kartana is a wonderful addition to the team, not only providing just a strong grass, and I run fighting coverage on it, but a strong grass. Not only providing a strong grass, but also having a really good speed tier that allows it to work really well with Moltres. Getting some damage onto a Pokemon and allowing Moltres to pick up a KO or finishing off finishing off a redirector before Moltres goes for a hit. 
So that is the first bit of the presentation. That's kind of what Moltres is, what you can expect from it. And now I got a few things to show with some sets that I personally think have some potential in the meta. So jumping over to a desktop scene. Hey, what's going on? I didn't have a cam on before. Hello. So for the first set, as I was saying, we got a nasty plot set. I think Moltres is pretty good at setting up and going for its two stabs. Fiery Wrath, don't be deceived. It's actually a dark type move. Nasty Plot, Fiery Wrath, Hurricane, and Protect allows you to get all of the good stuff I was telling you about. You got the speed boost, you got the special defense drops, and you got the Nasty Plot to boost your stats. I think this is a wonderful way to run this Pokemon. Um, this is kind of a bulk spread I stole from someone, not gonna lie. I got a team building chat where and they gave me this spread. I don't know what it does, but you understand the concept here is general bulk along the defenses. A bit of special attack, which I'm, assume get, which I'm assuming gets a knockout. And then a bit of speed, which this speed, I believe, allows you to... 123. Do some quick math here. 123 times 1.5 is 184. So that allows you to outspeed anything under that, which is very, very nice. I know 178 is a pretty good speed tier to outrun, so 184 makes a lot of sense as well. The other way I like to run Moltres, though, literally, you can see, the only thing that changes here is Citrus Berry to Weakness Policy. So running the weakness policy here, it gives you the ability to be offensive a little more immediately. If you can afford to put a weakness policy on this Pokemon, I do think it's better than Citrus Berry in almost every in almost every scenario. But the Citrus Berry is still a very, very good set to run. So same idea, except now if you ever get hit by a super effective attack, you have that immediate offense. As well, you'll see a little bit later with the Raichu that I have, we're running Volt Switch, okay? And with Volt Switch, I can Volt Switch off my own Moltres. And what happens there, you might be thinking, well, yeah, you're activating weakness policy. But what happens is, Regilecki is faster than Raichu. So what happens is, Regilecki's attack goes off into my Raichu, or they don't do anything. Then I Volt Switch my Moltres, get the weakness policy, Raichu flips out into like a Landers or something, getting an Intimidate on the field, and now I've already, the Regilecki's turn is already over because it's faster. And now Moltres, there is no Raichu on the field anymore, but I'm not, there's no threat of electricity anymore. So that's one of the plays that I can make with this, which I think is really, really cool. Now, these are the honorable mentions, because I think at the moment, there's only like one good way to run Moltres, and it's one of these two. Honorable mention, Choice Scarf. Now, I'm not in love with this one, I gotta be honest, but Fiery Wrath, Hurricane, Foul Play. This is kind of a set that outruns Dragapult. Which is pretty cool. I think uh, anything that outruns Dragapult and hits it super effectively is pretty nice. Uh, foul play being for not only hitting Dragapult, but also hitting a, hitting a Metagross that has a double times attack could be dealing out a lot of damage because this does damage according to the user's attacks or the user's. The opponent's target's attack stat. I said user's because I uh, uses. It deals damage equal to the target's attack stat. So a plus two attack Metagross is going to take huge damage from a foul play, which is absolutely devastating in certain situations. After you. Kind of a cool tech. Like, like I said, I'd like to show off some more fun ways to run this Pokemon. And I think after you is pretty cool. You can run it as a Scarf user and say you're in a bad situation. Now you get to... Oh, it's gone. Whatever, you get the point. Now you can click after you and try to make your partner Pokemon go a little faster. It allows you to after you a Trick Room. It allows you to after you a bunch of stuff. So I think after you could be pretty funny. Uh, Moltres as well. Here are three other honorary mentions. They're just moves. It also gets Taunt, Sub, and Safeguard. All of those, I think, are pretty good moves that you could fit anywhere. You could put them over Protect. You could put them over Plot if you just want to have a Weakness Policy Moltres with, say, Taunt or Sub or whatever. I think they're pretty cool. But that's it for the little spiel about what Moltres does. We're going to be jumping over to some games, and I will be uploading that. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is going up on Monday. The games will be going up on Tuesday, so unfortunately, you got to wait for those. But this has been the guide to Moltres. I think this Pokemon has a ton of potential, and I can't wait to show it off in the near future. Okay, that's it. That's it for the, the spiel.